All right, you guys, this is it. Okay, this is the unit I bought without seeing any photos, blind bid. First time I've ever done that. All right, locks off, it's ready to go. I have not peeked, I didn't even peek. We're seeing it at the same time the first time. You ready? How about we do a three? A one, a two, three. Okay, so here we are. We're on selfstorageauction.com and this is all we get to see. It's just that right there. That's nothing, right? But uh, here's the here's the the nitty gritty right here. The current bid's thirty bucks. The unit is a five by five, and it is a lean unit. All right, so a lean unit means that someone didn't pay their bill and they put a lean on it. Sometimes this does not say lean unit. And if it doesn't, I suggest you stay away from it. Sometimes it says charity unit, and that means people have intentionally put items into the unit in, to auction off for charity. And if you want to help and give money to charity, go right ahead. But if you're doing this for a business and looking for profit, charity units, in my opinion, are probably not the best way to go. But as I say it, I'm thinking, oh, I've never actually bought one, so maybe I don't know. But I would suggest stay away from them. The other one is a manager special. Definitely stay away from those. Those are the ones where they've cleaned out. The managers have gone through the unit and uh, all the contents that someone left behind once they checked out. They've probably charged their account and uh, thrown all the items into one locker, which one that fills up the auction off. But anyways, this is uh, this is what it says: description storage unit or store unit auction contents may contain 50% full, which is good. It has a bike. It has books, furniture files well we don't like books we don't like furniture we don't like files right but uh bikes are good good sometimes 50 percent full is promising so what do you think should we go on this one i'll tell you what i don't want to go a lot of money and it's a 30 already so let's put a 50 dollars that's gonna be my max and let's place the bid now i agree All right, processing bid. You're the current high bidder. And there it is, it's at 40 right now. So we're at 50, so if somebody bids 50, we will still keep the bid. They will have to bid 60 in order to win this locker from me. And they will win it from me, because I won't be bidding past 50. All right, you guys, check it out. I won. Won the locker. That's the invoice right there. So the auction company takes a 15%. They call it a bidder fee. $7.50. So $50 bid was what I got it for. $7.50 total is $57.50. We do have some taxes. Total is $62. So that's, that's our hard number right there. That's what our cost is at this point. Hopefully we don't have to go to the dump and have dump fees on top of it. But we're going to see pretty soon. I'm headed there right now. This just got really interesting. Okay, I saw this online actually, my friend Manuel told me about it. And uh, blind bid, who buys those? I don't know. Why not though, right? Why not? Let's give it a shot. It was 50 bucks. And um, I knew it was in Castro Valley. Castro Valley is pretty close. I like buying in Castro Valley. But I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the place. It didn't ring a bell. And I certainly haven't bought anything online from them before. But. Uh, now I just put in my nav and I'm realizing, wait a second, what's on that part of town? I'm like, wait a second, I've actually been to this facility before, before a live auction. It was last year, I came here and I got there early and the lady was telling me, the manager was telling me, we don't have auctions very often and when we do, they're usually pretty good because our clientele tends to have better things and that's why they choose our location. And I was like, okay lady, that's an odd thing to say. Uh, tall order, but then when they rolled it up, I was like, okay, maybe she's right because the unit was legit I think it was like a five by eight and it was a collector's unit You could just tell and I think it went for like eleven or twelve hundred dollars It may have been more actually it may have been closer to fifteen hundred It was a lot of money and it looked good and afterwards. I was thinking hmm, maybe I should have gone for that one there's some heavy hitters here. So um, this is it. This is where we're going. And I'm excited because this place does not have auctions very often. And uh, maybe just no one knows that they decided to use an online company. I don't know. We're going to find out here in just a sec. I'm about to turn in. Here we are at the facility. 
I called ahead and the guy said he was on his lunch break. One guy just opened the gate and a few guys went through. And uh, all I can do is just sit and wait, I guess. Here we are, we're right off the freeway. All right, here we go. Gate's open. It's an inside unit, he said. Lights come on. Ooh, it's dark. Here we go. C16. Yep. There you go. Can't miss that. All right, I'm just waiting for the guy to come and take the lock off. He had some other customers. I'm all ready, though. I'm all ready, and I'm kind of excited. So he said, I don't know what's in there. And I said, I don't either because you guys didn't put any photos. And he's like, yeah, well, there was photos, but they just didn't come out very good. So hopefully that's good. patiently to see what's in there if you guys think this was a great idea to buy that unit sight unseen blind bid if you think this is a good idea give me a thumbs up all right right now would you please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we have new videos up and we get them up all the time and we got good stuff in the works Yes, this is it okay this is the unit I bought without seeing any photos blind bid first time I've ever done that all right locks off it's ready to go I have not peaked I didn't even peek we're seeing it at the same time the first time you ready how about we do a three a one a two three. this looks pretty good this looks really good Yes, I really didn't have, to be honest with you, I didn't have that high expectations. It's like, why didn't they show the photo? They said, well, the photos didn't come out good. Well, um, still, I didn't think it'd be, I didn't think it would be very good. Let me turn this around. This looks pretty good. So what do we got? What do we got? Okay, we got this bike. It's a Schwinn, but it looks pretty decent. It looks like a decent, decent bike, right? Schwinn? We got some boxes. We got some mystery. I was thinking maybe there's not going to be any boxes. What is this? Here's a fridge. We got a trunk. We got a trunk. Uh, what's that back there? Like a headboard, I think. A headboard. This is like a uh, TV stand. This looks like the shelf. This looks like some sort of a corner unit or something. And we have a dresser. And they're solid wood. And you know I like my solid wood furniture and here we've got a standing lamp with that, that's pretty cool i like those i like them what's back here yes oh sports collectibles ken griffey jr all right all right <laughs> okay i'm stoked right now we got some basketball cards all right box of Wheaties right back here with a baseball player on it. We got some shoes. Oh, they look pretty high tech. Alright. Alright, you guys. This is good. Whew, okay. That cabinet's a little heavy, but give me some room to work here. I just want to tell you, you saw the bike was missing a seat too. 
This has got something in it. It's heavy. This is heavy. Oh, yeah. You can hear the stuff moving around in there. But guess what we're going to do? We're going to save that for last. All right? Locker nuts. It's the name of the show. All the drawers are empty, but this is still a nice dresser right here. We should be able to flip that out for easy 50 bucks. That pays for the locker. That won't play right here. And that's the back side. There's the cut lock that they cut off. Uh, it's a little wobbly. See that? Eh, whatever. Okay. Get in here. Okay, here's what we're seeing. What, what is that? Ooh, yeah. Yes, that's a sword. Oh, it's all mingled down here, though. It's probably cheap. I'll take a look at that. Um, this is like a snowboard. Oh, there's the other boot. We've got a couple snowboard boots. This is some sort of a stand. Or something like this guitar maybe it's pretty cool uh, yeah look at what we got here hmm. that's interesting this is a fridge and there's a big bin so what do you think's in these boxes right here that's what we're about to find out aren't we it's good stuff so what do you think what about that huh? That's pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. Eh, maybe not. I'm not gonna slide down this way, but mm, it's not dull. This could do some damage. Thumbnail. <laughs> yes, I like it. How about this? get these items on the trailer and then we'll get to the good stuff mm. all right guys big stuff's on the trailer so how about you say we get to it what do we got here basketball mm. that's good right that looks pretty good we're gonna have to look these up okay these are we got the pair they're not too worn they're worn but they're not like they're not destroyed uh, they probably clean up pretty well, but those are nice, right? We're gonna look those up later. Hope we got some value there. Okay, nice Coca-Cola glass. Shakespeare. It's all, this got wet at some point. I don't think it's supposed to have that shape right there or have mold in it. So, where's my gloves? Uh, so, Wet, moldy, hmm, schoolwork. I'm getting the feeling this was somebody a little bit younger. Uh, maybe not, a union of international engineers. Uh, maybe not, John Locke, wasn't he in Lost? Um, book, two treaties of government. The books are like all, 
How do you get your books that shape? I think you have to like get them wet and then let them dry at funky angles. This also has, looks like it's gotten wet, but this is just schoolwork. No loss there. I have a garbage can right there. I'm just throwing everything in the corner. <laughs> On the ground. That would not be smart. Okay. HVAC definitions for the real world. So this is somebody who's in the heating and air business. ESPN Poker Club. They're open. But you've heard me talk about it before. I have been holding on to playing cards. Not these kinds of playing cards. These are trading cards. And I don't really care about this kind of stuff. I just don't have any desire for uh, to get into this stuff, to learn about it. But I know people that do. So I saved that for them to look at. Stevie Nicks also looks like it's been wet. But the CD's in there. Cool. Brody, but not ruined. How about you come over here a little bit closer? Let's take a look at this together. It's a little dark in here. Is that better? You can see a little better what I'm doing here. Just got a couple more of these glasses. Those are nice. Coca-Cola glasses. Those are worth something to somebody. That's a nice lock right there. Master lock. It's pretty nice. Bike lock. You find the key. And even better. Try not to break anything. There's just some stuff going around here. Flashlight. Doesn't work, but energizer. Paper. Civilizations, piece of game. Advil. Wood stain marker, and it's cherry colored. That's pretty good. A little tiny energizer flashlight. Lights are on. Not on. Okay. A pencil. Shot glasses, Cancun, Planet Hollywood, a lot of touristy stuff. This, of course, is a Nike box. Oh, that's not good. That ain't good. Not good at all. Okay. Get spooky quick. All right, so that's that. Nothing too exciting in that box. So if you see on the box right here, it says firewood with a question on it. Um, and there's books in here. So this one's got a CD in the back and textbooks. That makes me think it's a textbook, and textbooks can sometimes be money. So we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna give that a look at later on because if we can get some nice textbooks this is good too anything technical related like uh, trades manuals like uh, train uh, trades edu education trades meaning like you know like HVAC for example or auto repair or any kind of like highly trained technical professions um, Fire protection, for example, right here. Introduction to fire protection. This, if I'm gonna find books, this is the kind of books I wanna find. Firefighter exam preparation book, that's fantastic. And this is another textbook, cause it's got the, uh, oh good. I thought that was mildew right there. <laughs> that's got the, the disc in it. So, art forms, revised seventh edition. So if they're still using that, Uriah Faber, <laughs> he's a good fighter. I think he's out of Sacramento. Um, forest people. Uh, you know, since we're scanning all these, we'll just scan this, that too. There's another one with this. Wait. Oh, I thought I felt the CD in there. Okay, no CD, but I saw some paperwork in there, I think. But this is the making of the West, people and cultures. 
in anthropology. When they have a disc inside, that's good because for one, that makes you think that it is definitely a textbook. For two, it has the CD. You can sell the textbook even if it's missing the CD, but it's not worth as much. Another one. Another one. Study guide. Good stuff. I mean, I shouldn't say it's good stuff. It's potentially good stuff. And a bunch of score. All right, these uh, snow boots right here looks like they're made by Lamar. They look pretty decent. They're very light. And uh, yeah, you see they've got a little bit of signs of wear, but overall they're not too terrible. <laughs> yeah. But I look them up online and I don't really see any that sold. I see some listings, they're usually around the $20, $25 range, but zero sold. That could just be the time of year, or it could be that this is just not a high-end desired brand. All right, let's take a look in here. Oops, I put that up there already. So let's put that in the box of books that we're gonna look up on Amazon and see what their values are, because some of these pages, I think we already looked at those. Here's that Ken Griffey Jr. plaque again. It's pretty cool. I don't know if this is worth anything. There's a Ken Griffey card that's framed into it. Uh, that's a neat, neat piece for, you know, somebody who's interested in that sort of thing. It's not my cup of tea. Empty. Bunch more cards here. Again, they're all, look at this. <laughs> they got them all wet, so. Ooh, locked food challenge. Oh, it's even open. But that's not. Let's see, when did these expire? August 1997. Hmm. Yep, I threw it away. I did. You saw it, don't be like, why did you throw it away? Because I did. I did, and it's done. Oh good, that's good. Bike seat. I was thinking, do I really have to go buy a bike seat to complete this bike so I can sell it? Actually, that looks like a pretty decent seat too. It's hot in here. Just to let you know, it is hot in this metal building in June. Oh, okay. Now that's a little more like it. These are not wet. Who's that dude? 80s. Okay. All right, a bunch of cards. All you guys who like that sort of thing can message me and tell me how exciting that is. That I just got those rare cards that everyone's after. Ah, more of them. In case you guys didn't know, I don't exactly like sports cards. It's not my cup of tea. Did I say that recently? I think I did say that about three minutes ago. That one's full of them. Another good binder. I'm taking it the guys in school. There's an empty, nope, not empty, notes, another binder, notes, another binder with notes. I didn't like schoolwork when I was in school. I sure as heck don't like schoolwork when I'm in a locker. Check. Let me guess. Sports cards, come on, man. I bought some comic books or G.I. Joe figures or something. That'd be better. A couple shelves. For what? I have no clue. So right here we got a little fridge. Got some cool stickers on it. it. Looks nice. So the rule is whenever you find a fridge in the locker, the rule is don't open it. Okay? Don't open it. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, they are moldy inside. But are we going to listen to common sense in general rules? Heck no, this is locker nuts, yo. Okay. Actually, it doesn't smell bad. It's surprising. And I don't know what that key is doing hanging out in there, but there's a key. It doesn't look like the one for the bike lock. It looks like a house key to me. All right, so we'll bring that fridge home and we'll test it and see if it works. If it does, I'll 
Did I, it, maybe notice that that tape was peeled back. That's not really a good sign. I mean, someone opened this since they taped it up. There's a little spider trying to get away. Spider versus tape. Oh, looks like the tape one. Yeah. All right, let's get it tidy. I like it nice and tidy. You ready? Yeah. That's all right, look at that. A little amp, plug your, plug your electric guitar into that. Custom, I don't know that brand, but it's probably 10 bucks. The four hour body, that's a lot of reading. Blue Book of Building and Construction from 2010. I don't think these are worth anything. These are basically tell you like every subcontractor uh, that's available. So if you need like drywall, you need something very specific plastering of your pool you can look in here and find the contractor that can do the work and work with them directly 2010 is a little outdated though cannabis cultivator okay golf handbook all right goals okay grow not just grow marijuana but grow great marijuana and nothing got drawing that's cool it says used right here. This is actually this is probably another textbook. This is probably probably for a college course. Okay, Chilton GM trucks. That's good. A repair manual. Uh, this one is from a textbook service. Hmm. A used book. That's again could be money. We got the trunk. We got to go through. But I think the best money we're gonna get out of here is in the textbooks. I really do. Uh, but we'll have to scan them and see. We'll do that when I get home. Winner's Guide to Texas Hold'em. Hydroponics. Got some pencils. And a random spoon. It's actually a nice spoon. Okay, guys. So that's it. Uh, that's it. Everything except for the trunk. I'm running out of time, though. They got to get out of here at 4. And I got to tie everything down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that home and go through it at home. I'm going to load all this stuff on the truck real quick. And that's what we got. There's all the books. I just consolidated them back into that bin. We'll take all that stuff home and look it up. This stuff is just going right to the flea market or something. I don't know about those. That'll list. So anyways, I'm going to get to it. I'll catch you in a few. When I get home, we'll go through this together.